And that was, yeah. So that was, that was, that was number one. Number one. <laughs> and what was number two? Number two was that um, we have a soul. You know, I had gone through all of my life, you know, mid-50s and not really um, focused much on soul development or understanding that we actually have a, a soul as such as a different identity to to our, our body formed. I'd fo I spent all of my life actually focusing on my body, um, trying to be... Um, the best I could as far as physically looking, um, maintaining looks, maintaining youth and all of those and never gave much focus to my soul. So the realisation actually and, and the day that the penny dropped for me was when I heard AJ say, <laughs> it was in a private setting, that <laughs> um, when you pass over um, everything's revealed your soul is exposed it's like having nothing on and I suddenly I'd spent all of my life looking at, at this looking after this exter external body making that you know as I thought at the time the best I could but suddenly there was this soul that was going to be exposed and people were going to see it and, and, and then people to actually see it now, you know, from the spirit world. That sent me into fear, actually. It did. That sent me into terror. I have spent my whole life focusing on the physical form and not my soul. And that's very sad. That's actually emotional to think that um, that's how we spend our life. Yeah. The image of the soul. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, now, so now I um, stop colouring my hair, um, don't dye it anymore, <laughs> and I'm trying to focus on the soul. I am focusing on my soul bit by bit and, and trying to um, get closer to God, and that's how I'm going to be able to improve my soul condition. So that was a big realisation for me, you know, that our body is just this tool for this life, that 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 the soul is what takes us to the mm. to the, our next life and that was my third mm. biggest realization that it's actually a spirit life mm. that we actually that's a continuation on from yeah. this life yeah, yeah. and that but was my nothing third. ever dies that's the infinity with forever yeah. Yeah. yeah yes and god um recognize, uh, recognizes us in our soul it's not well how we look and yeah yeah, mm. yeah. and and sadly you know Sadly, a lot of us spend our life oh. focusing on the physical. I did too. You know? Yeah. So it was a relief to know that I didn't have to really focus on the physical so much. You know, I've got to look after myself and I do, you know, um, you know, drink water, vegan and all of those things. But I didn't have to spend all of that money and energy on on um, maintaining a facade because that's all it was at the other day at the end of the day it was the, the facade the protection the shield around the soul that I gave no attention to yeah and so that was that was that was huge yeah now I hear that yeah so, so how was that a big realization when you when you before you didn't think there was a spirit world and now you know there's a spirit world or now you you're well, working with that how did that change things well the spirit so for, for my third thing, the realisation of the spirit world, was that I had had this um, um, religious or um, fairy tale version of the spirit world. I honestly believe, and it's really, really quite shallow and sad to say, that a lady in her mid-50s believed that when you passed over you would be greeted by um, harps and angels, um, you would be cleansed and you would become an angel. Here are your wings. Exactly. So, you know, so for me to, re for, for the realisation that, and, and how that came about was that I, um, it was a, a, a private setting again with um, AJ and and um, there was a group of maybe, I don't know, 10 or so of us there. And um, I, this was very much in the early days, I think probably the second time that I had met him. And and I was giving a, a relay of that little fairy tale. And, and the question AJ um, proposed to me was, well, Barbara, he said, so if you were a murderer now, if you went out and murdered somebody, and then tonight in your sleep you died, are you still a murderer or not? 
And I had to say yes. And that was the realisation. The penny dropped yeah. then. And then, then he elaborated for me, which yeah. was beautiful. And I realised that this life is a continuation onto our spirit life. And then with that, knowing that, okay, so if I'm a murderer and I pass over and I'm still a murderer, there's got to be a lot of ugly spirits in the spirit world. We're not, we don't all have wings. <laughs> okay, so this then proposed a whole new, a whole new scenario for me. Okay, if, we, if all the spirits in the spirit world don't have wings, what's going on? You know, mm. and then, then it opened up the whole world of spirit influence, spirit overcloaking, spirit involvement, um, spirits earthbound. You know, and all the spheres, I guess, too, and how they all interrelate. Progression, yeah. and mm. you know, um, the natural love spirits, mm. um, the divine love spirits, celestial spirits. I all of a sudden found out this whole big universe that I didn't know existed. Yes. <laughs> the yes. invisible universe to us as, at this stage. Yeah. yeah. So, so that was that a, was a big <coughs> truth for you then. That was, that was a huge yeah. truth because yeah. I was living in a fairy tale. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I took on that realization yeah. really, yeah. I've yeah really strongly that okay I, I believe that instantly. You know, yeah. it made total sense. Yeah. There was no oh if but or whatever. Okay, I've been quite naive here. Yeah. That makes total sense. Yeah. Total sense. If I'm a murderer here, I still have yeah. to be a murderer if yeah. I pass over. So how has that changed your life now, knowing that? Oh, <laughs> trying to be, um, trying to live in God's love and God's harmony in, in all the choices I do. And, and then also also realizing that the things that I have done wrong, now that there's a spirit world that exists and you are who you are when you pass over and you're responsible for who you are when you pass over, taking action and, and feeling repentant for the wrong actions that I have done mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, that's so knowing that totally made me responsible for my actions that I was currently taking, had taken and were thinking of taking. Mm. Where in this fantasy concept that I had, there was no, although I had, you know, quite good morals mm. and quite good standards from my upbringing and my belief systems, mm. they still were not anywhere near as good as what they um could be knowing the truth yeah. and so once I knew that truth I then had to take responsibility and action for my actions and decisions and choices and my free wills that I've carried out throughout my life and yeah so that was so I'm I'm in the process you know of as we all are I'm sure of um, feeling feeling the error of my ways and um, and knowing getting trying to get to a stage of knowing that I could never do those things again yeah.